Hey, what's going on, family? We are back, and we are back with redstone. But the problem is, oh, whoa, there's a cow <laughs> stuck in the minecart. How awesome is that? Well, that's great, but I can't find Robbie anywhere. So, today's, I guess, lesson, or whatever you want to call it, is on dispensers. The way that you can use dispensers. Now, let me go ahead and explain something to you guys before we go off into dispensers. This this whole entire like series is about redstone and it's how to do some cool things with redstone well one of the things that we're going to be doing for you guys is showing you guys like hints and tips on how to create make your custom maps better by you know redstone puzzles uh, dispenser traps just all kinds of different things that you can think of and we're going to be showing you guys how to do that so that's what we're going to show you it's not going to be we're going to like give you like little like mini tutorials on just different ways you can use these contraptions that we come up with inside of custom maps or just inside of your minecraft world or however you want to use it so what we're going to do right now is we're going to show you just the basics of dispensers so there's a target right there and i'm going to show you so dispenser one Oh, I threw that at it. I wasn't supposed to do that. Oh, I threw that at it, too. Wow, I'm just such a bad... There we go. There we go. See, that one shoots fire. That's what happens when you take F1. Look, there's another one. Oh, that one shoots an arrow. And that one shoots a potion. Look at it. That's an XP potion. It's a very simple use for them. So uh, don't throw that. There we go. Do that. Do. Hey! hey. <laughs> Sneaky. I Look at Sneaky. You're going to catch on fire, dude. Oh, no. Up, 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 Damn. up. All right, yeah. get it off. Get it. Okay. Okay, we're Ooh. good. Don't do that. We're good. Don't do that. You're going to burn yourself. Okay, so I don't know if you overheard me that whole time while you were sneaking. What were you doing back there? Uh, you, you know, target stuff. Like what? Uh, Kissing like, the back uh, of it? Yeah. Yeah, I was actually the support, so <laughs> it's kind of just holding it back up. All right, cool. That... Yeah. That's awesome. Very cool. Oh. I'm gonna break that off. Okay, I finished breaking it. Alright, so I was explaining to them about dispensers. Anything you wanna add? Um, not much. It's just there's just like certain items that you can throw out of dispensers that come out weirdly. And then most of the other items and blocks kinda just come out as item stacks, so they don't really do anything. Things like arrows and fire charges as you saw come out like as projectiles I guess yeah let's look at that yep as a projectile well see how I missed I Whoa. keep throwing potions at it it's awesome <laughs> there we go just like that okay so the other thing we were gonna say too is as of the last snapshot you are able to put minecarts and boats in a dispenser and dispense the minecart right on the minecart track and it's ready to go and the boat right into the water and it's ready to go that's pretty cool Oh yeah, and I think you can do with also with the chest and furnace carts, which Ooh, I don't yes. really use, but... That's cool too. Yeah. That's real cool. Alright, so let's go on over here and show them what we have set up for them. Just some little examples, some different things. Like, for instance, right here. This is kind of like a, a buff room. Is that what it is? Yep. Okay, go ahead and show them how it works. So, you step on this. Oh, look at that. And so is that three buffs? Yes, we got uh, speed, strength, and uh, what do we have? And regeneration. There we go. Nice. See, that's cool. Now, There's all the potions, all the splash potions you can craft in game can be thrown out of dispensers. And pretty much, it's just like another player throwing it at you. Like that. But I'm in creative mode, so it doesn't hurt me. <laughs> 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 so as you see here, when you step on the pressure plate, have it to where the cloth pulls back, basically the wool pulls back, and you can see the dispensers. Pretty cool. Now there's some other things that you can do with this too. So let's go on over to this room here. Actually, not even to this room. Let's go over to this little board right here. So as you can see, we've got a button for me throwing potions until I hit the button. Oh my gosh, there we go. Got some experience. There we go. Some swiftness. Oh, look, it's moving faster. There we go, some healing and some strength and some slowness. Now I'm slow. Well, no, I'm not slow anymore. Your normal speed because you got that swiftness now. So okay. I think they equal each other out. Nice. 
So then over here, I'm going to let him demonstrate this one for you. Can you please remove your creative mode? All right. So let's give him a let's just give him a you know, like let's say you're this doesn't exist back here. These holes aren't here. So go ahead and jump down the hole. Yeah, so basically this is where you would come out of. You have your secret tunnel. You find this secret temple or whatever this is. You come up here and you see, you see these lights and whatnot. And you know, it's you want you want to get down there, I guess. Hi. So you just go ahead and hit that button. Oh, oh, oh. Oh crap! Okay. He well, could, he didn't last. He th died. There's a trap, <laughs> right there. And if you notice, what happened was, right here, you jump down, but over here, his entrance in is now gone. So gone. Bye bye. And as you can see, when we hit the when he hit this button over here, let's hit this button. See how it lights up? Look at that. That is awesome. So there you go. Just another use for dispensers. It's really just using it to dispense potions, uh, oh. traps, stuff like that. I'll show also, you this we got the mention here. back here. What is that? Like, I guess we can uncover one of these. Yes. And it is simply a dispenser and wool. So things out of the dispenser can actually penetrate through wool, Which especially is potions. Pretty cool. It's yep. pretty cool. We're gonna actually do some experimenting on, like, the different uh, levels that you know. Like, for instance, we did it with spider web, and the spider web caught everything. And it just kind of just sat there. We did it with some other stuff, and it wouldn't even let it go by it. Matter of fact, it kept it. We did it with bookshelves, and it left the potions inside of the bookshelves. So if you ran across the bookshelves, it would you could pick things up. All right, let's go over here and check this out. So this is something over here that I think... So for some of you, you'll probably recognize this build right here. This is actually from my zombie fortress build. Go ahead and flip that switch so we can show them what it does. So this is arrows coming out of the dispensers, but now if you see, we've got the lava flowing in front of it, so it's causing fire arrows. The only thing that, you know what I think would be real cool, dude, is if they include it in the game to where when you shoot arrows like this, it catches stuff on fire. Right yeah, now, but I think there'd be a lot fire. of forest fires. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. But still, that would be cool if that wall would burn down. I mean, it's pretty much all fire right now. Yep. I don't know why it's not burning down. Yeah, oh well. So there you go. There's another way to utilize dispensers, just like this. Arrows, flaming arrows. All right, so let's go ahead and go over here. So let's talk about, I guess, pressure plates. Let's talk about pressure plates and how pressure plates work. So this is a pressure plate on top of a fence. Now, why would we do something like this? Well, pressure plates on top of fences, you actually have no colli- well, you have minimal collision, and you can literally walk into them, and they, uh, they trigger simply just by touch. Now, that's You don't cool. have to jump on top of them. Now, here's a question. Can you throw an item on top of that pressure plate? Yes, you can. Now, here's the thing about items on pressure plates. What about the despawn rate? Like, how long it takes it to despawn? Um, so, you, you, you know, like, for instance, if I have a pressure plate down on the ground and I throw an item on it, it'll activate that pressure plate. And it'll stay there until that item is picked up or it despawns. But this lets you do what? How does this work? Um, if you have no collision on the bottom of the pressure plate or on the fence on the bottom, I can't, I'm, like, way too close to this. Yeah, get, get up in the air and throw them. The item actually falls right through the, pr the pressure plate. One day it will. There it goes. There we go. So it's like every once in a while it there. falls through the pressure plate. There it On goes. On the sweet spot right there. There you go, right there. As you can see, just like that. Now, we have something set up to show you guys with something like this. Just this type of contraption. So you come over here, and we have this. Now, what is this, you say? Well, this is kind of like a timer. And little Ethan showed me this, actually. So you have a spider web there with a pressure plate. And we have one of those, show you, let's go down here so you can see what it looks like. So if you look here, there's a fence there with a pressure plate there. Now this is kind of like a one-time timer. And it goes off after about, oh, I think it's about 30 seconds. So let's see. Let's push it. Okay, so we got a grass block. So we're going to let that, gla that grass block drop. And as it drops, we are going to look at some other things. So for instance... What do we have over here? What is this tower that you got going on over here? 
Oh, well, this tower kind of incorporates this, um, this whole pressure plate and fence. Well, I can actually open it up from one side so you can see it more. Oh, whoops. Nice. So, oh, look, see how that just went off? That just went off. That was a, like a 25 second timer. So it kind of goes down in there. It drops down right through the spider web. And as it falls down through the spider web, it'll hit the pressure plate and it causes that to go off. Now you could hook this to a T flip flop or you could hook this to a lot of different things and it's like a timer. And it's pretty consistent. It takes as long as it takes for an item to go down the web. That's how long it takes. So as you watch it fall down, watch. And there it goes. And there it goes. Just like that. Done. Now we are on a server, so it's going to be a little lagged, I guess, but that's how it works. Alright, so back to what you were saying over here. This. Okay, well this tower incorporates the idea of the fences and pressure plates. And basically I just put a bunch of harming potions around the pressure plates, so when you slide down, it's pretty much a death machine. So I just you oh, slide yeah. down and it just pretty much kills you in midair. That's awesome. But I wasn't creative. Yeah, that's awesome. All right, so there you go. That's like that's pressure plates. That's how pressure plates work in the game. So you have some different things that we have, you know, set up here. Like for instance, this here is pressure plates, and as you walk through this, you hit these pressure plates, and it closes behind you. Now at this point, if I get off these pressure plates, it's going to pull apart, but yet it's going to leave that there, and you can no longer go back where you came <laughs> from. So kind of sucks. But there, there you go. That's it. Pressure plates and dispensers. We're finally making our way past all the items inside of Minecraft and what they can do for you. So, if you guys have any ideas, so l once again, let me explain to you about the series itself. The series is redstone. It's creating cool redstone contraptions with redstone. And what we're going to be really focusing on is stuff that you can use inside of a custom map. Stuff that you can use, you know in your home just different things that you can make for yourself but we're really going to be focusing on custom map stuff so we're going to be doing a lot of redstone puzzles a lot of redstone traps uh... with all kinds of things that we've already showed you already so we're going to be using everything that we've showed you in the last what is it like four or five videos i think it is or six uh, Yep. and then we're going to compile all that together and we're going to start creating a just kind of a big tutorial on how to create your own custom map inside of Minecraft with the different techniques that we're going to show you. So if you guys have any ideas that you want to, you know, give us, please feel free to leave them in the description. Now also, please take a moment out of your day to go up to the link that's on the right hand side of the screen and go check out this guy's YouTube channel, X2Robbie2X. Yeah. You will not be disappointed. He's awesome. Don't forget that. All right, guys. <laughs> so that's it. And remember, if you like this series, please support it. And we will talk to you soon. Bye. See you.